This video is a little different from the content you'll see on here. Today, I want to tell you guys a story, my French learning story. I started learning French a long time ago, back in 2009. And it's a little demotivating for a beginner to tell him this big number because it sounds like I've been doing only French for all this while. But there's so much else happening in my life and learning French has been such a, a small part of it. The first two years, French was second language in pre-university school. I could fill in the blanks, I could conjugate a couple of verbs, but I never seemed to understand TV or radio or music. I couldn't say anything uh, much apart from introducing exactly the way I learned to introduce myself. But that was not for me. I needed a real conversation. The next four years, I went off to university and safe to say French was almost not there to start off with. I made a lot of pen pals. I stopped consuming grammar, no textbooks, no notebooks. I started making friends online and I started writing to them. Postcards, letters, WhatsApp, Skype, email. I did it all and I really felt a little closer to these friends than my regular friends because there was no mutual friends and <laughs> no scope for backbiting you know I, I, I just clicked and I, I tell them about my day of course the nice parts of the day and nice parts of the week one of my first French friends sent me an audio note of her conversation with a sibling in French <laughs> Ah oui, on pourrait voyager dans le monde entier. J'avais même pas pensé à la téléportation internationale. Toi, tu penses que, tu penses que euh, elle est à Paris. Ouais. Someone who's not consumed movies or music or anything French authentically so much, I was filled with so much ambition to speak like that, to understand that. And I felt so distant. Despite two to three years of learning French in the past, I was not speaking it and was filled with so much stubbornness to learn this you know I volunteered with Campus France in Bangalore where I was studying engineering and I could pick up pieces words and bits that they were saying uh, Alliance Francaise was well expensive to start with but also I didn't want to start with a grammar and sit down with a notebook I consumed Rosetta Stone over this entire six-year period I had it on my computer and I would do it when I was free there was no discipline it was just happening haphazard but then I started listening to music and watching movies with subtitles and listening to the radio. With the poor internet I had in engineering school, I had a friend uh, help me get my hands on a YouTube video offline of my now favorite TV show for kids, Petit Tour Sabra. I watched so much of this because it's slow, it's cute, I pick up the verbs and that was me during those four years. Finishing engineering school, I had this drive to move to France for whatever reason. And when I looked up Google, what I found was this assistant art program where I would be a language assistant in a French school, English language assistant, of course, but that would be for six months, renewable once. And even that one year stay in France was all I needed <laughs> back then. I wanted to perfect my French and check it off my bucket list and carry on with my life. I had no plan B and this is really immature as a kid. I had no idea what I'd do after coming back to India after finishing this one year thing, but I was motivated. I was willing to go through the paperwork. Uh, it's not easy, the paperwork, <laughs> but I was willing to go through the paperwork and I was so motivated to do it. Campus France, the people that I volunteered with, asked, sent me an email, do you want to study in France? And I thought to myself, huh, at first when I spoke to my entourage about it, it's understandable that they were concerned. They wanted me to pick something more serious maybe and not run behind a fantasy. And they were right, I had no clue what I was doing. But after seven years of dabbling with French, I purchased my flight tickets to move to France as a student. The course would last three years with an internship year in between. So I was sure to pick up French in this time. In the few months I had before I left India, I doubled down on my efforts, watched only French videos on YouTube. My Google was in French, my Facebook was in French, my phone, my computer, everything was in French. And my French was getting somewhere. I could say something in French now relative to seven, it's seven years ago when I started. <laughs> And then I packed my lock, stock and two smoking barrels and went 
to front. I was greeted here by my homies, the friends that I've always known. This one dude I met at a cafe in Kamanahalli in Bangalore. Became such a thick friend, he was working in Congo uh, and he flew in to Paris just to have me over. With Rolf, had some good food, McDonald's and picked some groceries for the house. He's known me for three, four years at this point and he, he flew in, had me over, didn't, make, didn't even make me pay for McDonald's because I was a student and he was earning. And uh, I spent a day, two days with him and he flew back to Congo. I mean, I, I met these friends that just showered so much love, so much care on me. It was for me a very grand welcome. My school organized a taxi ride and I was sharing with this Australian dude, Patrick, and uh, he spoke, a, he knew a little bit of French. We are in a Mercedes C-class and we are traveling in Stanford. This is my friend Patrick, he's from Australia. Nice to have met him. I had already practiced over and over again Google Translate of what I can tell the taxi dude because I knew there's a taxi. I told him where I was from, I asked him where he was from. Um, this was planned, of course, it was scripted, but I could stitch through the few words I knew to understand what exactly he was saying and Patrick told me, dude, your French is really good. It didn't feel like it. To another foreigner who was also learning French, my French was good. <laughs> Well, moving to France and trying to learn French, I think you should be careful of this trap where the local uh, and they mean you well, but the locals say that you're doing such a good job when you're probably not. I was getting trying to get a couple of papers printed and my card didn't work. I said it in French and the dean in our school was standing behind me. She knew me from a conversation we had before. She's perfectly bilingual and she said, Josh, I didn't know you spoke French. And uh, actually, I didn't know I spoke French either. I, Again, looked these sentences up before I went to meet this guy to help me with my printer card. People kept encouraging me and that was helpful. I joined a student association and when I would attend their meetings, it was really formal and I didn't understand what they were saying because they went fast, they used expressions, a couple of slang words. I was lost. In two or three minutes, I was lost. The next 45 minutes, gaping into the white, white wall, I was just lost. I would go to a language learning club every Thursday and I would make it a point to speak only in French. And these little activities which probably take 30 minutes, 40 minutes of your time a week is what catalyzes and puts your learning on steroids. Tell them the content I consumed, the movies I watched, the way my week was so far, how I was feeling and I would do it every Thursday. I'd have a headache at the end of it but I was stubborn to do it. Between school and internship year, I had some free time and I went to live on a farm. Stayed there for three months entirely, working with the farm life, a local farm boy and picking up French. Me being immersed in an English and in an English world all this while. And if that's the only humans around you for two or three months and you barely understand what's happening, uh, it was a very generous serving of the humble pie. And I think that's where my French really grew because fight or flight. <laughs> and I was consuming these nouns and verbs that I would never hear in the city, in the school or at work in a city. An internship and another year later, this collaboration happened. Uh, après, je pense que c'est intéressant d'écouter la langue authentique, comme uh, sur Easy French. Je pense que c'est bien authentique et la musique française ou les, les films français et de faire des amis qui sont francophones. Ça aide. I was consuming their content back when I was in India, and when I read the comments on this channel, it really felt like a moment, like a milestone, like now. I do speak the language. Now about that number, 11 years to learn French. Uh, for me, it's been in the back burner for the most part, apart from when I was on the on the farm. And don't put yourself into a swimming pool when you can't swim either. I spent six months in Amsterdam and I was pretty free. I couldn't pick up any Dutch and I cocooned into my shell and I wouldn't practice any more Dutch when I was telling myself I'm learning Dutch. But it didn't happen because it was too foreign for me. Take baby steps and for me, that's how it should be. In the back burner over a period of time and uh, you gotta stick to it over time to keep your mental state intact, to keep your motivation intact. Take your time, don't, don't be in a hurry. Over these 11 years, if I condensed all my efforts, it's probably five, six, eight months of work that took me to here but I, you could never spend eight months straight and learn it so well. It has to be spaced and you'll find videos on YouTube that will claim to teach you French in two hours. 
I don't think that's how I function. I don't think that's how anyone functions. Maybe for a small percent of outliers, that's how it is. But for regular people like you and me, you'll need time. I know this is a challenging topic for most people. I've been struggling with German forever. But when it comes to French or language learning in general, I think it's important to not give up. <laughs> If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, in this channel, I'll get back to talking to what I always talk about, uh, tech. But for all the comments I've seen before, here's my 20 pens on how to learn a language. I'll see you around, maybe on an Instagram live where we can do a Q&A about learning French. Thanks so much for watching. Keep learning.